Nepal is a land of discovery and a one-of-a-kind experience, with rich old civilizations juxtaposed against the world's most stunning nature. Nepal is the perfect vacation spot for open-minded people who desire an authentic and fascinating experience. Come and find yourself while enjoying the pristine and unexplored. Unmatched in its diversity, Nepal's choice of activities, from sweltering in the Terai and jungle to the frigid summits of the highest mountains in the world, is unmatched. Nepal is well known for its magnificent scenery and its mountaineering, bungee jumping, paragliding rafting, and trekking. In addition to being the location of Lumbini, the birthplace of the Lord Buddha, Nepal is well known for its beautiful monasteries. Other significant religious pilgrimage destinations can be found across the nation for devotees of many sects and religions. Nepal is also home to a myriad of monuments, sculptures, artistic temples and magnificent artworks. Along with some of the highest mountains in the world, Nepal is also home to stunning lakes surrounded by the Himalayas. You might not be aware of this, but Nepal is home to some of the world's richest inland water resources. Swayambhunath is undoubtedly the best location in all of Nepal to witness religious peace and should not be missed on a visit to Kathmandu. It is supposed that this is where the splendor of the Kathmandu Valley began. Since the 5th century AD, the Swayambhunath Stupa has been a popular Buddhist pilgrimage site. It is one of the oldest and holiest shrines in the Kathmandu Valley. According to the Swayambhu Purana, written in the 15th century, Lord Buddha created a lake in the Kathmandu Valley by sowing a miraculous lotus that grew in it and shone with a magnificent light. The location became known as Swayambhu, which means, self-created, or, self-existent, and this lotus later changed into a sacred hill of its own. Thousands of pilgrims, including Vajrayana Buddhists from northern Nepal and Tibet, Nawari Buddhists from central and southern Nepal, and even individuals of other religions, frequently travel to Swayambhunath. Due to the large number of monkeys that inhabit the hill, Swayambhunath is often affectionately referred to as the monkey temple. Swayambhunath offers a stunning perspective of the Kathmandu Valley and is made up of a variety of miniature stupas, pagoda temples, and monasteries. This historic holy shrine's wonderful ambiance is crafted by centuries-old statues, tens of thousands of butter lamps, carved symbols, and the scent of incense sticks. The complex includes a stupa as well as other temples and shrines, some of which date back to the Lichavi era. More recent additions include a Tibetan monastery, a museum, and a library. Buddha's eyebrows and eyes are painted on the stupa. The number one, written in Devanagari script, is painted between them to resemble a nose. In April or May, Swayambhunath celebrates Buddha Janti and Losar, which are its two primary holidays, in February or March. Many pilgrims stop by the temple at these seasons, and the monks use saffron-colored paint to decorate the stupa with a lotus pattern. The Gunla festival, which lasts a full month in August or September and celebrates the end of the rainy season, is also significant. Two ways to enter the site are available, from the top of the hill to the East, a lengthy staircase leads directly to the temple's main platform, and from the south, a motor road round the hill and leads to the southwest entrance. The iconography of Swayambhunath is heavily influenced by the Nuar Buddhist Vajrayana tradition. However, the complex is a sacred place for Hindus as well as Buddhists of different schools. Nepal offers so much that it can't possibly be experienced all in one trip, Every traveler can find something to enjoy there, and you'll never be dissatisfied. If you are looking for some thrill in the country, then go for bungee jumping in Nepal. Out of all the activities in Nepal, it is one that has gained popularity in the last few years at a fast rate. Both locals and visitors participate in the activity to experience pure joy from head to toe. Nepal is ideal for this activity because it has beautiful views. One of the most exquisite jumps in the entire globe, Along with the breathtaking vistas, you'll experience a sense of heavenly flight. Additionally, you may approach extremely close to the river's crystal clear water, which is an absolutely delightful experience. Mountain biking is the finest way to discover the Kathmandu Valley. The varied landscape of Nepal is a mountain biker's trip of a lifetime. 
Exploring this great nation, its geography, and living heritage on a mountain bike is environmentally friendly. Nepal has enough unkempt roads and trails to satisfy even the most extravagant mountain biker's imagination. If you want to visit both the countryside and Nepal's urban hubs, including Pokhara and Kathmandu, mountain biking is especially advised. Long-distance journeys to such exotic locales as Namche Bazaar in western Nepal are possible for the adventurous. You may even travel over the plains the entire length of Nepal. Many of the bicycle rental shops in Nepal and throughout the city provide mountain bikes for rent by the day or longer. Among the 13 Asian elephant range states, Nepal has approximately 2,500 square kilometer of elephant range. If you skip a jungle safari in Nepal's southern and southern western regions, which are covered in tropical and subtropical forests and are recognized as the country's wildlife hotspots, your trip would be incomplete. Incredibly diverse mammals, reptiles, and birds can be found in Nepal, a country rich in biodiversity. For the protection of these rare creatures, the Nepali government has established numerous national parks, wildlife reserves, and conservation areas. Chitwan National Park and Bardia National Park are two of the most well-known in the entire world. Thamal is without a doubt Kathmandu's main tourist destination. Hotels, bars, restaurants, travel agencies, clubs, ATMs, and stores selling anything from winter clothing and handicrafts to camping, hiking, and mountaineering gear are all located here. Thamal has been and still is one of the busiest and most well-liked commercial areas in Kathmandu, Nepal. The country's tourism business has relied on the winding lanes of Thamal for more than 40 years, whether it is for taverns, cozy eateries, or spectacular temples, the Thamal neighborhood street stores can satisfy all of your shopping needs, whether you're seeking for tasty cuisine, fashionable clothing, new music, or trekking equipment, there is free Wi-Fi available everywhere. For those who desire adventure, paragliding in Nepal can be a truly fantastic and gratifying experience. A journey will take you through some of the most beautiful landscapes on earth as you float over villages, monasteries, temples, lakes, and jungle while sharing the sky with Himalayan griffin vultures, eagles, and kites. You'll also get a breathtaking view of the majestic Himalayas. The mesmerizing beauty of Pokhara has inspired numerous travel writers. This location is known as, the Jewel of the Himalaya. For its pure air, breathtaking snow-capped peaks of the Annapurna Range, and the tranquil Feva, Begnas, and Rupa Lakes. It is the beginning point for treks into the Annapurna Himalaya, which dominates the skyline, and is home to incredibly kind and interesting people. The largest lake in the valley, Fewa Tal, was originally used as a camping location for hikers before gradually becoming the city's tourist center. The beautifully situated Himalayan child has long served as an inspiration to intrepid souls. And among all the adventurous pursuits you might engage in, river rafting in Nepal may provide you with the most rush. Nepal's white water rafting is an experience unlike any other. You cut through untamed, violent floods as you wobble along the enormous streams, and believe me when I say that this is the perfect amount of excitement for you. The Budanath Stupa has stood as a symbol of Buddhist faith for thousands of years, towering over the nearby town as a huge mandala of calm and beauty as well as huge eyes. The massive contemplative structure is thought to have been built shortly after the Buddha's death, around in the 14th century. The large offering site swiftly rose to prominence as the area's main place of prayer and donation.
The capital of Nepal, Kathmandu, is known as a city of temples and has a highly rich cultural heritage. Seven incomparable World Heritage Monuments are located within a 7 km radius and include Pashupatinath Temple, Bodhanath Stupa, Swayambhunath Stupa, Changunarayan Temple, Kathmandu Durbar Square, Patan Durbar Square, and Bhaktapur Durbar Square. Although most Nepalis are kind and helpful, they avoid approaching Westerners. To find out how nice they are, you must first approach them. The majority of Nepalis go to bed extremely early, very. Particularly outside of the tourist regions, Nepalis are incredibly helpful. Because inhabitants in tourist locations seem to view you as a source of endless wealth, in residential neighborhoods like Nubaneshwar, people are very kind. Some locals will be more than delighted to provide accommodations for you since they think it will be lucky for them. The people of Nepal are often seen as having the most allure. There is no doubt that a significant portion of what makes Nepal unique is the customs and renowned hospitality of its numerous diverse ethnicities. The people of Nepal are always kind, whether they are in Kathmandu Valley's old metropolis or distant mountain villages, medieval hill towns, or both. Come and savor the robust and distinctive flavors of Nepalese food, made with care and a depth of flavor, or join in on one of the many festivals held all year long. There is no other country in the world that can give as many celebrations as Nepal because there are more festivals there than there are days in a year. In Kathmandu, galleries and museums have significant collections of ancient, historical, and aesthetic artifacts, as well as contemporary art. The Kathmandu Valley, which is rich in art, architecture, and culture, is a popular tourist destination. The food in Nepal will be a main attraction in and of itself. A significant aspect of Nepalese culture is providing guests with delicious real Nepalese cuisine, which is reflected in the hospitable Nepalese people. Tibetan tea will enhance the aroma of high-altitude treks, and Nepalese tea is great if you're trekking. Nepal has a wide variety of ethnic cultures. As a result, you can get the chance to sample some real Nepali cuisine made by old ethnic groups. Herbs are among the primary components of Nepalese cuisine, which makes it both savory and healthy to consume. Nepal is renowned for its organic herbal products and natural plants. The cuisine of Nepal is influenced by its neighbors China, Tibet, and India. The food in Nepal is thought to be wholesome and prepared with little fat, soups, lean curries, vegetables, salads, lean meat, pickles, and curd are among the often eaten foods. Tomatoes, chilies, coriander, garlic, and mustard oil are among the components. In Nepal, Islam is the third most popular religion. Approximately 1.164 million Muslims, or 4.4% of the population, reside in Nepal, according to the 2011 census. The Muslim community of Kathmandu, established this religious site in 15th century during the reign of Mala dynasty King Ratna Mala of Kathmandu Valley. 1484 to 1520 AD. During 1641 to 1674 AD, another Mala dynasty king King Pratap Mala allowed Muslims of Kathmandu to build a mosque in this religious site. The current mosque was built in 1990-1991 AD reaching the ancient mosque. When visitors come in Kathmandu, the Pashupatinath temple always piques their interest. In addition to being one of the largest Hindu temple complexes in Nepal, the Pashupatinath temple, which is located on the Bhagmati River, regularly conducts open cremations, a river that Buddhists and Hindus both regard as sacred. Given that death is a touchy subject in the West, you could be put off by this, but I wouldn't be so quick to avoid it while you're in Kathmandu. This area is so much more than just that one thing, you can explore the temple grounds, interact with sadhus, and discover more about Nepali Hindu culture. And isn't that the main purpose of traveling? Discovering, understanding, and appreciating many cultures. 
Pashupatinath is home to approximately 492 temples and shrines, including phallic shrines, devoted to Lord Shiva. As a functioning temple, throngs of devotees come to worship Lord Shiva at the main temple every day, but I'm afraid non-Hindus are strictly prohibited from entering. As many people's gateway to Nirvana and their final resting place, the Pashupatinath temple is very significant to the people of Kathmandu. The cremation takes place in a location near the Pashupatinath temple and the holy river Bhagmati. Hindus hold the view that if someone is cremated in the Pashupatinath shrine on the Bhagmati river bank, they will enter paradise quietly after passing away. Since the time of the Mala rulers, or the 5th century, Pashupatinath temple has been one of the best and most well-liked tourist locations. Every year, a large number of tourists from all around the world come to Pashunath temple. This ancient and revered site, Pashupatinath, also brings in a sizable amount of money. One of the most popular trekking routes in Nepal is the Everest Base Camp Trek, and in exceptionally excellent weather, Pashupati may even offer a view of Everest. The Shivaratri festival, when devotees travel from India and Nepal to worship Shiva, is the greatest time to go to the temple. Sadhus and yogis surround the temple. You are welcome to take photos with them since they are amenable to tourists. In 1979 AD, the temple was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A two-tiered building with a gold-plated roof makes up the main shrine. Since Nepal's founding and the beginning of the people's cultural adoption, Nepali dances have developed. Dance has a long history in Nepal, and it is still practiced as a sign of joy and pleasure. The life, culture, and customs of Nepal are greatly influenced by its dances. It serves as both a useful reminder and a nice source of entertainment. Dance is the pleasurable motion of the feet and body to the beat of a song or piece of music. Music and song are a dance's complement. Nepali dance can be broadly divided into two categories, classical dances and folk dances. The Nepali people has been performing mostly two types of dances for a very long time. A folk dance is one that is based on folk songs and music, as opposed to the classical dance, which is based on old classical pieces. List of classical dances of Nepal. Kumari dance, Manjushri dance, Panash Buddha dance, Bajrayogini dance, Arya Tara dance, List of popular Nepali folk dance. Tamung Silo, Juhari or Dohori dance, Chukki dance, Don Nacha, Karua dance, Balan dance, Maruni dance, Bethi dance, Sorathi dance, Sakela Sili dance, Laki dance, Matrakastam dance, Jungwa dance, Mendomaya dance, Sanjini dance, Giaware dance, Dara dance, Kukuri Nach, Jayor dance, Tapa dance. Thanks for watching this video. It will mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comments on what's your impression about it and share.